Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to discuss very important topic in SQL, which is joins. Now joins you will be using a lot in your software testing or even if you are working in databases and database development or data analysis, you will be using joins a lot and understanding joins or getting or clearing the fundamentals is the first and foremost thing to get started with the joins. Now what exactly is join? So join as the name suggests, it's basically joining two or more tables and then getting the data out of the multiple tables. Now, when the databases are being uh, built and the design is being done for any application. So usually you won't be dumping every data into one particular table, right? So there might be an e-commerce website wherein you have the customer data. So you will only store customer relevant data in one of the table. When the customer places order, you might want to store it in a separate table rather than having hundreds of columns in one particular row and making that table unmanageable and unmaintainable it it is the responsibility or it is the role of the database architects to design the application database in such a way that it is more maintainable there are tables that can be uh, that can talk together or that they are integrated or linked with some keys etc and that's where primary key and those things come in picture now what join will do is join will help you to fetch data from multiple tables so it will join the table and return the common set of data or the relevant data that you are looking for. Now first thing we are going to discuss is the SQL join or inner join. So whether you say join or you say inner join it is same thing. So as you can see on the screen say for example I have two tables A and B or say for example A is a customer table and B is a orders table. Now if I want to see how many or how many records or basically how many customers have placed the orders right what is the common thing between the table customer and order then in that case this inner join will help me to fetch the records that are common across both the tables right as you can see this highlighted the blue color it will return the relevant records that are common across both customer and orders table now this might look very unclear at the moment but let's go to the database and actually see what we are going to get when we do the inner join. The format or the example will cover while we are in the MySQL or Workbench. Okay. So here, this is some of the data that I have created. I've created two tables, customer and order, and I'll share all these queries so that you can go ahead and create your database and tables and play around. So let me show you what all data is there in the customers and orders table. So I'll open a new query tab and let's see what is there in the customer and what is there in the orders okay so let me this all right so you can see that in the customer i have some of the customer ids the name and the country where the customer belongs right and now in the orders i have the order ids for the customers that have placed the order okay and then there are two rows there for which there is no customer id there is order id but there is no customer id in real scenarios that's not going to happen uh, if your database design is proper but just for an example i have put there some null values now what do i want to do is i want to basically see how many customers from this customers table have placed the order okay so basically i want to see in the orders table what all customers are the, are there which have placed the order right so basically there is a common linkage between the orders table and the linkage is the customer id and the customer id in the customer table now if i want to see what all orders are there right so i can simply say select and then star from customers right so i want to select everything from customer which have placed the orders right so all the customers that have placed the orders now here if i say select star from customer and then i'll say join orders right because orders is the table which contains the customer orders and then we have to provide the common criteria between both of these tables that link these tables right so what is the common criteria the common criteria is the customer id or customer id is there in the customers table and then customer id is there in the orders table as well so what we can do is we can say select star from customer so i want to select all the records from the customer table and then join on 
orders table on what criteria on the criteria of the customer id so i know that in the customer table the customer id is cust underscore id so i specify that customer dot customer id and then here we have to also say on right because we have to specify on what criteria we have to link these two tables so i'll say customer dot customer id and then link them based on the customer id of customer and customer id of orders right so orders dot customer id and that's pretty much it okay so if i run this query you will see that it will return me all the customer ids or all the records from the customer table okay you will see all these three are from the customer table and then everything that is common with the order table as well right so it has returned all of the customer ids that have the order ids for the customer record okay so this is what the join is now if i say inner join all right if i say inner join instead of join the response or the result will be exactly same there is no difference and that proves that join and inner join are exactly same right so you'll see that seven rows were returned when we use join and then inner join is basically seven rows returned as well okay so what inner join or join does is it will return the common records from both the tables okay so that's what the inner join is now the next thing i want to cover is now here i'm using the customer and order table and then it is sort of a lengthy naming convention now is there anything better that we can do yes definitely so we can use the aliases okay and i'll explain the aliases here itself so what alias will do is i can if there is a long customer or a long table name i can specify a short name for the customer or orders table right so i can say select star from customer and then i can say c in front of this customer right the table so what this c is it will become an alias of this customer table so next time or any um, further places i just need to say c dot cust id right so similarly inner join on orders and i'll say for order table i'll say alias as o and then on instead of saying customer dot customer id because i have given alias to the customer table i can say c dot cust id right and then o dot cust id okay because i'm linking both the tables on the customer id so customer id from the customer table so c dot customer id and the customer id from the orders table wherever there, there is an equal or they are equal return those rows or the common rows that are equal so if i run this you will see the query is much cleaner now but the response is exactly same okay so this is about the alias thing now instead of selecting all of the columns i can choose specific columns from both the tables right so what what i can do is i can say from the customer table i just want the customer id right and then i want the customer name i just want the customer id and customer name and then from the orders table i want the order id right and the order amount so now i specified what columns i want to fetch in this case so only these four columns will be returned right so if i run this we will see that the customer id name order id and the order amount has been returned for the customers that are there in the customer table and any associated order for those customers if it is there in the orders table only those records will be returned in this case right in the case of inner join or join only the records that are common in both table will be returned and that's what join or inner join is in sql okay so that's all for the join or inner join in sql i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching